Ready, uh, go. Go, 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 go. Action. The reason you choose to come to somewhere like Northern Territory to shoot an outdoor adventure sequence is basically this rugged exterior of a landscape which is really hard, you know, it's dry, it's dusty, it's tough on vehicles, it's tough on the people that live here and it's got these brilliant sunsets and cliffs that really give you an opportunity to, to explore your photography and to, to find um, shafts of light coming through boulders or trees. I was trying to get a shot of these guys coming past this sandstone formation as they run out here this last light. Okay, action! Some call it modelling, other, others may call it exercise, it's actually quite tiring. It was really good fun actually, feeling quite good and I mean, it's, uh, it's quite a nice place to be doing it as well. So might do a a lovely, uh, lovely sort of uh, area. The interplay between the photographer and the talent or model or the subject you're shooting really becomes important. They're experiencing the landscape for the first time as well, so they're excited and you want to capture that on their faces and put them in positions where, the, where you can capture that spirit of the land and the spirit of the people on it. So what we're trying to do here is to create a feeling of space and serenity, where uh, a um, haven, if you like, from the desert. A place like this can be a very inspirational place because you've got such a contrast here of wa of water and trees and sky. Yeah, it's an interesting light that that comes into here because during the day it's so. It's so bright and so blue and so crisp, yet there's a softness to the atmosphere in the evening. It creates these wonderful red glows and, and sunset and reflection off the desert and reflection off walls that, that I don't think I've seen too many other places, that very dense, rich light right on the dusk. It's quite phenomenal. <laughs>